I thought I'd just start um, by talking about the PS1 project. Um, what you're seeing right now is there's uh, mirrors on the floor and um, you're looking down over the edge of the um, balcony. And um, I'm just gonna show you a couple pictures of it first. So there's, um, so you're looking at a reflection right there. And then there's this medical bed that's actually um, under, let's see, just gonna go back to this first. It's, um, can I use the pointer, I wonder? Yeah, do you guys see the pointer? So the medical bed is right here um, under this other bed, and then it's reflected in the mirror down here. And then below um, that on the ceiling, technically, is this um, white room. So um, can, can everyone hear me okay too? Yes. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd just talk about the way that I thought about the piece in terms of, um, well, I thought of it as being these um, kind of like layers of consciousness piled on top of each other. So the, um, this bed, the pinkish bed was sort of like the idea of reality and then, or orangish bed, and then this, surgical bed which becomes a loft above the white room was sort of the idea of um uh being in a place between or let's see how i usually put it a place between life and death or kind of a um like a static um wow i've i just have to say i've been so distracted by everything going on in the country um that I feel like I haven't even been able to pull my mind together. So you're gonna have me losing my train of thought a lot here, but, um, and then, okay. So, and then the white room down here, which I can show you closer, is sort of this idea of um, like uh, escape or fantasy, or it could be death. Um, so anyway, those three layers of consciousness were piled on top of each other in this piece, or that's how I saw it. And I guess one way of talking about that is like psychological architecture. Um, but I don't even know if that really does it justice exactly for what I was trying to go for. Um, but let's see, I just have to get something to drink. Um, but so everything was handmade in it by, me and um, uh, I'm just gonna, there's also sound, but I had to take it off because I couldn't talk to you guys and also have the sound going. Um, but I have a whole bunch of pictures of the making of it because I think that that's actually the most interesting thing um, when I watch other artists talk about their work. I like that. So, um, this is the close-up of the surgical bed and this whole piece was sort of based on this time um, when I had pneumonia when I was 30 in the hospital and I almost died um, so this is a interesting moment in history <laughs> to be talking about it but um so um that that's what this bed is and this is all um life-size and so there are my feet at the bottom of, um, I'm standing on the mirror, which not every, not everyone could stand on the mirror um, because it was too expensive to get um, the, I'm still trying to get this kind of mirror that you can stand on. But um, so let's see. And then there were these wheelchairs that everywhere falling down staircases. Um, and um then there was also this area um, that's kind of like a little landing um, that you enter from this. I'm sure you guys all know this space, but um, you enter it from a floor below. And I made it into kind of what I thought of as a basement. And um, there was a live camera looking down on the same view that you are seeing um, that captured the bed in the reflection. And then it had um, words getting colored keyed this is the crappy couch and the um like these animals and stuff um but let's see um so that's the what the live feed saw and then um 
this is what should come on. This is, you're not supposed to, you never see the beginning of that, um, but these words are all getting color keyed into the black. Um, and I think that this was kind of a failure, but it was, I was testing it out. Um, and this is just like all of the anxiety that goes into making the piece, like all, all the emails, all the lists and letters and um, all my nervousness and everything. So that was in there behind there. Um, and then just really briefly, this, um, this piece of it went through a lot of different changes, but this is sort of a sculpture um, that's made up of all these little um, different colored patterns. And I, I was working with trying to project different colors onto it to make it look like a static moving um, sculpture. And I'm actually working on this for my what I'm working on now. But um, the idea was that when I was in the hospital hallucinating and everything, I saw these animals jumping down from my bed and they were like basically made of like TV static type of kind of a, they were transparent, but also like this colorful static moving. And I've tried to make those animals in a couple of different situations. But anyway, with this sculpture, um, I, I made it and it worked and then it didn't really work in the installation to have the lights flashing because it just took too much of the, I felt it, um, it took away from the rest of the piece. So I just included it like that. 